the squad called the Trauma Unit. The Trauma Unit, they from they from they from um, Miami, but they um relocated to um, Houston, Texas. And them dudes, they had a um, club. It was like a biker club, a biker bar. They had a big ass ambulance van, ambulance in front of the club, decorated, bro. That's why they call it some trauma, trauma unit. You know what I'm saying? Right. So um, we used to go there. You know what I'm saying? They used to, they used to get on, you know, play pool, gamble. You do, you do everything there, bro. They used to have chicks dancing on the pole. It wasn't even a strip club. It was like, it was they shit. And the police didn't mess with them. You know what I'm saying? But they didn't, they did not like, they didn't like that nigga. They didn't like that nigga, um, Jay Prince singing, bro. They didn't like him. Yo, yo, none of them niggas liked him. You remember what happened with, um, what's his nigga name? Hold on, I'm going to tell you right now. What's his nigga name? Um, well, Master P mm-hmm. got it to an old boy, Pip C. Mm-hmm. And and um, Jay Prince made that call, bro. Mm. Wow. How would they know what hotel Dang. Pimp C was in? So you said Master, uh, Jay Prince set that up and gave Master um, P the drop on him? Gave Master P the drop on him. That's why he didn't want to go to war with him because Pimp C wanted to go to war. He wanted to go to war with him because... He set it up. Damn. Uh, man, so you think so? All the stuff that they saying about like um um takeoff and all that, those rumors. You think we think about those rumors? They saying, "Oh, Jay Prince and them, and they should have protected him and all that." No, Jay Prince and Jay Prince, man. If you cut, now these niggas, I tell the niggas to check in. I ain't want, I ain't want that check in shit. I go where I want to go. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You tell us niggas to check in, and they check in with you, and they get murdered. That's yeah. your fault. Mm. You gotta, you gotta win that way. That's your fault. Mm. You tell these things to check in, and then they get murdered. Duke the jeweler went down there, party with the niggas. He get murdered. Yeah. Um, back in the day, I think it was nine. Was it ninety um four, ninety four, something like that? Ninety, maybe ninety eight. A nigga got murdered with them playing dice then. Damn. So all man. that shit, man. They load it, man. They 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 um extort these rappers, these young rappers. When you, and when you can't, when they can't extort them, they try to get something done on. And be a young boy, for example. And be a, and be a young boy told Jay Prince to eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? He can't extort that young boy. So now he's not he's not NBA young boy no more. He NBA dumb boy. He called him dumb boy. Remember that? Yeah. So. I don't know. I, I, did I interview Jay Prince before? Yeah, it was. It was only gave us like twenty minutes though. Yeah, I remember. I yeah. remember. It was, a, it, was a, it was a while ago, right? Yeah, it was a minute, yeah. couple years now. Couple years. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think when I, when I first came home, when I first came home, and shit from the feds. Yeah, right. I, I interviewed him. Shot because I, I came home June twenty twenty. Right around that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I remember that shit. I was like, oh, that, I was like, oh. And when I left, that was that number was good. I came back. That was just all right. Oh, like, whoa. And I seen Gully, the nigga now. I'm going to say something. I don't know if y'all rock with the nigga. I'm going to keep it real. Do you? That nigga, that nigga Gully TV is a whole ass, gump ass nigga. Damn. Real talk. Bro, he was talking, he was, because he was talking shit, you know what I'm saying? Because at one time, we was like, all right, he's watching my show, he's watching the show, shows your love. But then the nigga did some, I forgot what he, I forgot exactly what, what it was that he did. Yeah, I felt some whole shit. Wow. I'm like, I don't know if y'all remember. If y'all ever seen, I I got my beard, um, orange one orange. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my beard orange one time. Two days later, as I got my beard orange, this nigga got his beard orange. <laughs> Damn. You know what I'm saying? So I seen him. I seen him mimic shit, but I don't, I don't know why he mimic what I do because nigga, you got you got all the interviews. You do a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but I noticed a lot. Of, I ain't noticed even with Doggy Diamonds. I didn't know a lot of niggas be watching you. You don't know because oh yeah, oh yeah. He interviewed my he interviewed my um, little bro Chris John Chris John. You know what I'm saying? The person who judges BTB TV. He's a rap artist. You know what I'm saying? Chris John. He's from Camden. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He got got some great music, man. I let y'all check out some of this shit, man. Yeah, for sure. From Camden, he's from CMD. So um, he interviewed Chris John, right? And Chris, um, he was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna shout out my um big bro, Born Divine. He's like. Talk about the King of New Jersey, BTB TV? He's like, yeah, he's like, yo, 
Not rocking. Why you going my head like that? Man, I got I hold niggas accountable for what they say out their mouth. Yeah. If I think you trying to bully niggas, all that tough talking on the internet, oh, I used to do this, I used to do that. I don't, yo, if you guys watch any of my shows, I don't really do all that tough talking like what I used to do back in the day. You know what right. I'm saying? That doesn't matter. It's who you are now. You're a man, dog. You up there, you talk like gangster, gangster, then you, um, then when he did that, I really lost a lot of respect for him. He started running, running with Wack 100 after Wack 100 told him to suck his dick. Who's that, Doggy Diamonds? Yeah. Damn. Wack 100 told him on club. I was on club. I said, "Day when Wack 100 told him, he was like, suck my, that's what he said. They cool now. They cool now. Wow. The last thing that told me suck his dick, bro, you know what I did to him, man? <sighs> I did something vicious to him. Wow. That's, hey. bro, that's one thing you don't tell him. I'm, right. Man, not unless you're really looking for some violence. That's, that's, yeah. that's what you're looking for, yeah. yeah. Like now, when I was the prison, I was young. I didn't give. I'm like, don't suck my dick, bitch ass nigga. Da, da, da. Let's get it. Yep. And the nigga that fuck me, know he's soft. You know what I'm saying? Cause you told, or I smack shabba nigga. What? <laughs> if you don't fight me, then I know you soft. Mm. One nigga I smack. That's what's in Roanoke, Virginia. Nigga said, "Police ass nigga." I was talking to security at the time at a club. I was like, you call me police ass nigga? Like, what you say to me, bro? He said, I called you police. I smacked fire that nigga. Pop, I smacked him. He spin, hit the ground, jumped up. Like, I'm going to get my gun. I'm going to shoot your ass. This nigga ran straight to the police across the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dang. All right, when these tough niggas coming through, you call me a police ass nigga, but you went right to the police when you get smacked. <laughs> Last thing, man, before we get out of here, we definitely, definitely going to have you back real soon, man. Um, Coolio. <laughs> His cause of death came out today. Oh, um, word? Yeah, they, they said uh, it was fentanyl mixed with heroin hmm. something else, and methamphetamines. Yeah. yeah. It's all time. How you feel about that, bro? Oh, man. Rest in peace, Coolio, but Cho. Even, even like Michael K. Williams. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 I told you that heroin is, is a, that, that drug is a dick. I knew Coolio was getting high anyway. I know none of them other. I'm, 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 before I, before I tell you, I'm going to tell you about Coolio first. Coolio, I knew Coolio was getting high anyway, but Cho. That heroin, that opioids, that's that's a that's a bad addiction, man. Once you get stuck on that shit, bro, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You can't. It's, if you get off, like my mother, she's addicted to heroin. She been clean for twenty seven years. Cold turkey. You dig know what I'm saying? Because 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 she she got tired. She got tired. She's like, man, I go keep do this shit up. And my kids out here hustling. He going to jail because of because I ain't really be able to vibe for what I want to because of. Because he's my drug addiction. Right. By the time, by the time she cleaned up, I was already in prison. I was like, "Yo, I respect, I love him ones. I, I appreciate right. what you did for me. You know what I'm saying? You, you my mom, my grandmother raised you. Rest in peace, Ernestine Edmonds Davenport. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, she raised me. So you know what I mean? But like I said, my father was locked up most of my life. You know what I'm saying? So even my mom's boyfriend, so my sister, father, pretty much the one raised me most of my life. You know what I mean? So me and him cool. He just passed. Me and him real tight. You know what I'm saying? That's like my pop. So. You know what I mean? It's different, man. That heroin, you know what I'm saying? All of them and all everybody I'm talking about, except my grandmother, my my mother, my father, my sister father, my uncles. Damn. You know what I'm saying? All of those addicted to heroin at one time. Wow. They all be clean now. They all be clean. You know what I'm saying? My father returned to the essence while I was 17. You know what I'm saying? He got he got murdered in Harlem, New York. That's why I'm that's why I'm fucking them Harlem niggas. Be real. <laughs> Because uh, my father got murdered because the nigga was jealousy, you know what I'm saying? He was yeah. getting money. My father was a minister under Malcolm X in Temple Number no. Seven in um in Harlem. He was okay. a minister at the Temple Twenty Five in North New Jersey. He was a minister at the Temple out here in Philly. I think it was Temple Twelve or Fifteen or something like that. One of one of them numbers. He was a, temp- he was a minister over there too. You know what I'm saying? So my father he ran with the Black Mafia, the old school Black Mafia, all that shit. So my father was known. You know what I'm saying? My father lived in a rich car to right across from Central Park. Dang. Okay. Yeah. He, I'm talking about he, yeah. he lived this. I was in the fifth grade. Like, he'd go to jail, he'd come back, he go right back there. He had a um, penthouse suit up there. Hmm. His wife, his wife was still living there when he died. When they murdered him. So I figured, look, yeah, they say he got hit in the They say he somebody blood in the back of the head or something. What well, thing happened was, I think, that when they hit him in the back of the head, my father had a heart murmur. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when he hit him back in the head, his heart stops. Damn. So 
That's yeah. So and that's all from all the years of drugs. Right. You know, say that them yeah. drugs, man. You can clean yourself up twenty years later after doing that shit. And some people, some people, they live long while they still get high. When they stop getting high, a lot of them will just die. Mm. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. But I want to tell you about Nelly though. I bodyguard for Nelly when I was in um 